Torah is so great. It gives chaim, it gives life to a person in Olam Haza and Olam Haba. Not only Olam Haba, Olam Haza as well. Shenemar ki chaim heim lemoitzeim ulechol besor marpe. It's chaim. It's chaim lemoitzeim ulechol besor marpe. Even if the bar says a refua. Torah is so great. There's reward. Not only in Olam Haba, but also in Olam Haza. One might ask, might ask the question, well, we say every day, we say the Mishnah and Peah, There are other mitzvahs that a person gets a reward in Oilam Haza and Oilam Haba as well. Kibur Aveim, Gimilus Chasodim, Hava Sholem Bein Aurem We have other mitzvahs that seems to have the same benefit. There are limits to that there are reward. There's So what is so special about Torah? The Tana is telling us that Torah is And what is meant over here specifically when the Tana says Chaim? Mission in Peya it says, Oichel Perisem, Akin Kayemis. He's getting reward. The Tana here, however, doesn't say reward, he says Chaim. Why the Shinu Loshan? What is meant with this Shinu Haloshan? The Pulsican Mishnah says, Ayala Sehuvim, the Yaalas Chain. The Yaalas Chain. And the Gemara Darshan says that that refers to the Torah that's Ma'alas Chain Aloim Dal. That a person who learns Torah is Isaac Bater is Ma'alas Chain. It's the Alas Chain, it's Ma'alas Chain Aloim Dal. A person who learns Torah has Chain. He gets the attribute, that Bracha of Chain. What is Chain? What is the special Bracha of Torah? Over and above. Other mitzvahs. Talmud Torah can get kulam. Talmud Torah can get more than the other ones. But here the Tana seems to be indicating that it's not only the quantitative amount, it's not only, not only the quantum of reward. It's also a different type of reward. Mishnah and Peya says that Talmud Torah can get kulam, but here the, ter- the Tana only mentions Torah and it says Chaim. What is that benefit of Torah? The Torah is malas yalas chain. It's noisen is chain loyelam deha. What is meant by chain? What is that bracha of chain? The Mishlei, the pasuk begins: Ashrei haish ki imbeser Hashem chefsay uveserosa yege yom v'laila. A person who's Ashrayish that he's Isaac and Tera is a Yaga Yam Valila, he's Isaac and Tera is Yagaya Yage but Tera Yam Valila. And what will be his Brahvaya Kaes Shosul Al Palge Mayim? Piriya beef may be Piriya Yitin be itoi. The Khol Asher Yaase Yatsliach. The Khol Asher Yaase Yatsliach. Whatever he engages in with, he will have at Slah Hilat Slacha. With everyone he does. So there seems to be the one who is Oisik Batayra, Yaman Valila, that he has this attribute that he has Hatslacha with everyone he does. He has Chain. A person has a child. A father, a mother has a child. They don't reward the child only when he does something good. They don't take care of the child only if he does something for them. They don't nurture the child. They don't nurture their child because he gives them something. They expect something in return. They nurture their child because it is their child. They love their child. It has chain. It's their child. And they take care of him in any which way they can. And whether... 
he's done something good at the moment or whether he hasn't. That's chen. A person does a mitzvah. He gets a reward. Sometimes in Oilam Haba, sometimes in Oilam Hasa. Maybe only in Oilam Haba, or maybe in both. He does something that's praiseworthy. He does a mitzvah. He does something that's deserving of reward. The Rabbi Shalom rewards him. But we are bonim to the Rabbi Shalom when we're Isaac, but Lishma, where by bonim we have chen. And it's an overriding bracha. Kol asher yasi yatzliach. Whatever we're engaged, we'll have atzlocha because we're close to the Rabbi Hashem. So everything is nisbarach. And it's not related, davke, to a particular maisa, to a particular point in time. We have the chain of the Rabbi Hashem. Mechol asher yasi yatzliach. Whatever engaged, we have atzlocha. It's a special mida of finding chain be'enei hamokan. And how is it, and why is it that Torah gives this chen? And where do we see it here? What is the concept of it? It says, by Noyach, the Noyach Motza chen, Noyach was found in in the eyes of the Rebbein Shalom. The Dora Mabel was wiped out, was obliterated. Noyach was saved. Why was he saved? He was an Ish Sadiq, Tom Hayabdei Raisov. But why was he saved? Because above and beyond his meisim, he had found chain in the eyes of the Rebbeinu Shalom, and he was saved. Why? What was that attribute of chain? Because he fought against the whole world. The whole world were Isaac and their averas. The whole world weren't maminim, and they had their gezel, and they had their averas. And Noyach went against all of that. And he remained faithful to the Rabbi Shalom. So he was a son of the Rabbi Shalom. He was a faithful Ben of the Rabbi Shalom. He was the child of the Rabbi Shalom. He was a faithful Ben of the Rabbi Shalom. The Rabbi Shalom was as his father. And he had chain in the eyes of Hashem. And he was saved. Over and above his particular Maisim Taim. Noyach was a tzaddik tamim b'day reisav, but he found chen in the eyes of Hashem because he's a son. Son was Isaac b'tera lishma. So he goes against, goes against his desires. <coughs> he goes against olam haza. He goes against his surroundings to be faithful, to be a son, to be a child of the rebbeinu shalom, to try to attach himself to the rebbeinu shalom, to have a chibur to the rebbeinu shalom and fight against his desires and the Oilam Hagashmi and all that surrounds him, he is a Ben of the Rebbein Shalom and he finds favor in the Rebbein Shalom's eyes. There's Chain. <coughs> and Cholashay Yasa Yatzliach. And then he has that slach. And a special bracha for Talmud Atayra that's not by other mitzvahs. It's not a specific reward for a particular Misa. But the whole Ashayasi Yatsli of the attribute of Chain. I once had an amazing visit, a Peladic visit, to Vervafal Levine Zatzal, the son of Ravari Levine and the great Sadik of Yerushalayim. So it was shortly after one of my daughters, Hassan, I went in with my daughter and my, my Adam. We had to go in, we went in for brachas. And as soon as we walked in, he looked at them and he said, It should go well, it should be gesund, it should go smoothly. And he kept repeating and repeating the bracha. And I was, we were in a maze. She, she just had the chasen not long ago. And as I said, I, they just, just had, he said, It should all go smoothly. And I kept on trying to explain. And he said, It's fine, it's fine. Bracha, you should have bracha, it should, it should be gesund. And there's a postscript not long after that visit, we did find out. We did find out that Baruch Hashem, she was expecting their first child. But as the meeting continued, he looked at me and he said, you know, there's no explanation for who is Zaycha to the Mida of Chain. We, we don't know who the Rabbi Shalom bestows on her. It might be the people who are, we think are unlikely. And we don't know exactly who we can see where there's a demonstration of chen. 
that Rabbi Yishlam showers his bracha of chen on somebody and it's beyond our ability to really explain and understand who is it that is Zaycha to this public demonstration of chen. And he said within the ears and his eyes, tears in his eyes rather, he said with tears in his eyes, it's so rare and it's so special, we don't know. But some people are zaycha to the midah of chen. We should be zaycha to learn Tarele Shema, and we should all be zaycha to this beautiful bracha of chen v'chol asher yase